She's a sophomore here at Bloomington High School, and besides being a member of the Spanish Club and the captain of the freshman sophomore scholastic pool team, she has always done everything she can to maintain her individual individuality. From her hair and her clothing style to her love of everything science related, Alexandra has always been true to herself. While this has allowed for her to focus on what is important to her, it has not been without its drawbacks. Like many people her age, she hasn't been the she has been the target of teasing, childish rumors, and multiple accounts of bullying. Alexandra has remained strong throughout all of this and hopes her story helps others realize not only the importance of being an individual, but that without it our society will cease to grow. Wonderful. Welcome. It's difficult to be a teenager. We always manage to have something on our minds, whether we're worrying about our homework, where we want to go to college, or our Facebook profile. But the real question is, where do all these issues stem from? I think it's acceptance. When I was in sixth grade, I wasn't happy. I didn't know I wasn't happy, but I wasn't happy. I had the same haircut as all my friends, I shopped at all the same places, and everything I did was to impress them. I don't know what changed, but I woke up and I finally started wearing my, what, I, what clothes I want, cut my hair the way I wanted to, and acted the way I wanted to. But this brought on a whole new set of issues. I started to be bullied. I had to make a choice. Would I be an individual, stay true to myself, be happy, and be bullied? Or would I conform and not be bullied? I don't know why I didn't regress. But I know when I look at successful people like Steve Jobs, I see that it's OK to Stay your own path, and it'll all work out. We wouldn't, technology wouldn't be what it is today without Steve Jobs. Imagine only making phone calls on your phone instead of doing much more productive things like Candy Crush. <laughs> 170 years ago, Kierkegaard, who I'm sure is all your favorite existentialist, or at least in your top three, said, where the crowd is, therefore, or where a decisive importance is attached to the crowd, no one is working, living, or striving for the highest end, only for this or that earthly end. What Kierkegaard was trying to say was, when you're a part of the crowd, all you are doing is trying to increase your popularity and your rank in the crowd. Instead of increasing your knowledge and bettering yourself, your world, and your community. I wonder why we aren't further along in, in, since this is not a new concept. I don't know why I changed all that time ago, but I know that it might have been toward my family, my friends, or maybe just dumb luck. But I encourage you to not make your not just rely on dumb luck. Make a conscious decision and be an individual. We need more individuals in this world. I want to stress that being an individual doesn't mean being that kid in preschool who sits in the corner and eats paste. It means being, having enough courage to be yourself, be creative, and make a difference in this world. I want to end with a quote by Ayn Rand. I will not run anyone's life, nor let anyone run mine. I will not rule, nor be ruled. I will not be a master, nor a slave. I will not sacrifice myself to anyone, nor sacrifice anyone to myself. Thank you.